Hello everybody, Elias5891 here with another Katane module tutorial. This time we are covering the flags module. Uh, this module, uh, it's all about flags and their countries. Uh, if, say, you're like me and was a big fan of Carmen Sandiego growing up as a kid, this may be a little easier for you than uh, if you haven't studied flags. Uh, for this module, as the diffuser, you're going to get one big flag. This is your main country flag. A number, and then seven smaller flags. As the diffuser, you need to convey to the expert the number, which is easy enough, this is number two, and then each of the flags. Now, if you are not familiar with your flags, you're going to have to describe them. If you are familiar with the flags, then you can get by with just saying what they are. Uh, for example, with this one, you may have to tell your expert, oh, it's uh, it's got a sideways cross, a sideways plus, uh, kind of thin, white and red. They can be like, okay, uh, and you might say it's a white stripe. So they find one, oh, that's got a white stripe, obviously, right here on Denmark. And then some sort of other color on the outside. They can double check, make sure there's none others. That's just a white cross with other colors. Nope, Sweden's got some sort of other color there. And thus you deduce, okay, well, my first flag was, where'd it go? Denmark. Now, of course, also, you may just know that Denmark is a red and white cross flag. I'm going to go through this first one on the assumption that I know none of the flags uh, to kind of explain how I might give these out if I didn't know any of them at all. Alright, so we've got Denmark as our top flag, number two, and then my little flags are uh, three vertical stripes. The center one is white and has an eagle. Oh, well, that's uh, Mexico. Let me describe the next one. Uh, three horizontal stripes with a green triangle on the left. Uh, the center stripe is white. And notice I always give a white color reference as well as a black color reference. Uh, bottom one is black because those colors show up really well even on black and white. So they would know, oh, that's Sudan. Uh, next up, we have three horizontal stripes, uh, equal length. Top one is black. Oh, well, that must be Germany. Uh, next one, <laughs> three uh, vertical stripes. Left one is black. That's going to be Belgium. Uh, next up, we have three vertical stripes. Uh, center one is white and has like a coat of arms in it. So they search. Three horizontal. Has a coat of arms in the middle and it's white. Uh, that's it. Peru. Uh, next one is uh, two vertical green and white with a uh, moon and star in the middle. So they're looking for two colors. Oop. Something in white, moon and star, that's Algeria. Algeria. Been doing too much. Uh, Algeria. There we go. Been doing maybe a little too much of the algebra module. Uh, last up, uh, it's divided into fourths. It's got red, white, and blue. It's got two white quadrants with stars in them. That's Panama. Now, uh, we'll go through other ones on the assumption that I do know some of the flags because I, after a while, you know some of the flags. Plus, you're obviously going to say your home flag, countries you've been to before, maybe. Uh, but for now, you can always describe them to explain them. Okay, so now that we've finally gotten that information over to our expert, what does the expert do with it? Well, first, they have to sort the seven flags based on which of these rules kicks in first. Uh, is the main country, that's the big flag, remember Denmark in this case, in North America? If you're not sure, you can check Denmark is in Europe. So that is false. We move to the next rule. Not that rule. Next rule. Otherwise, if the main country's dial code is higher than 100, um, its dial code is 45. Nope, not higher than 100. Next. Otherwise, if the main country's name contains the last letter of its currency, and when it says currency, it means what you have here, so its currency code, not its actual currency. So if the main country's name has the last letter of its currency code, currency code ends in K. Does it have a K? It does. We have our a rule. 
So we are going to sort the seven flags by their ISO code in alphabetical order. Well, we're going to need those ISO codes. Luckily, I highlighted the uh, flags we have as we went. Algeria was DZA. Belgium was BEL. Uh, Germany is DEU. Mexico, MEX. Panama is PAN. Peru is PER. I'm going to guess Sudan's probably SUD. Nope, SDN. SDN. And we need to alphabetize these. Uh, if you are like me and use Notepad++, uh, you can hit Control shift and then up and down arrows and it moves lines like this. So, Belgium comes up here. DZA, DEU, Max, uh, Peru, Panama. There we go. They are now alphabetized by that ISO code. What did we want? We wanted... We had a 2. That means we want the second flag once they're sorted. That would be the Germany flag. And we can remind our... Uh, diffuser, if they had to explain to us what Germany looked like, we'll probably need to explain it back. Uh, Germany, you want Germany. That's the uh, three horizontal stripes with black on top. Three horizontal stripes, black on top. Submit. Bomb is done. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, we'll skip. We won't go over every flag because, like I say, once you've done this even a couple times, you're not going to need to go over every flag. Like this one, I think most of us probably know what that one is. Um,. That one we should know because we just did it. So some of these you're going to kind of pick up quick. Alright, so we want flag number six. Uh, main flag. This one I don't off the top of my head know. Uh, triangle on the left, two horizontal stripes, white on top. Uh, triangle, white on top. Czech Republic. Czech Republic. That's good. Color. Yeah, we'll color it blue. We'll switch to yellow for my country flags. Uh, this one is, it's got the UK flag in the corner and four stars. Almost looks like Australia, but not quite. New Zealand. Ooh, that's really hard to see. Let's change that color. There. Actually, I think I like the red I had first. There we go. New Zealand. Uh, second flag is the United States. I'm a U.S. citizen, thus that one's an easy one for me. Uh, two stripes, white and red. That would be Poland. Uh, Poland. Uh, next up, three vertical stripes. Uh, center one is yellow and has a star in it. Uh, looks like it's probably Senegal. But let's double check. Didn't give any definitive blacks or whites. Yeah, it's Senegal. Senegal. Uh, we have... Now this is one I find very difficult to get across if you don't know it. Uh, it's hard to distinguish if you don't know them. This is either Iceland or Norway. Either way, you've got a cross with a thin white border and then another color. For Iceland, it's the one... Uh, actually, this should be Nor... No, this should be Iceland. Norway is inverted on the red and blue. Now, obviously, if I just look at this page here, I'm not going to be able to tell the difference between this one and this one without context. But I do have context. Japan. That's a flag a lot of people know. It's a red circle. If I look at the Iceland one here... Oh, well, that color here for the cross matches the color of Japan's red circle, so that must be red on the inside, which means it's the one I want. Whereas that shade there kind of matches more the outside on Norway, so Norway would have the red background. I'm going to show you another shortcut slash uh, useful thing when you're learning these that'll help distinguish that as well. Uh, but for now, that's how you can get it across. You know, oh, it's uh, the center's red, kind of like Japan's circle. And then they can be like, oh, the circle's this color, that matches the inside color. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's polish this off. Oh. Uh, we have a... Kind of a... Uh, in the corner, we have a blue square with a white star. We also have a white stripe on the top. And then a big red stripe on the bottom. That's chilly. 
And last up, uh, we have Algeria again. Algeria. Alright, let's uh, figure out what we need to sort by on this one. Uh, Czech Republic. Uh, is the country in North America? No. Czech Republic is in Europe. Uh, does the main country's dial code higher than 100? It is 420. It is higher than 100. So, oh, but there's a second part, and there's an RJ45 port. Is there an RJ45 port? There is not, so we're going to skip this rule. Otherwise, the main country's name contains the last letter of its currency. The last letter of its currency is an E. It contains... Oh, no, I'm sorry. The last letter of currency is a K. Uh, it does not have a K. So we keep going. Otherwise, if the main country's capital has more than nine letters. Repub or capital is Prague. That is not more than nine letters. Otherwise, if the main country is in Europe, check mark, and its currency is not the euro, it's not, we're going to sort the seven flags by their continent in alphabetical order. Well, let's go ahead and punch those in. Um, Algeria is North Africa. Chile is South America. Uh, Iceland is Europe. Uh, New Zealand is Oceania. Uh, Poland is Europe. Senegal is West Africa. And the United States is North America. And we'll sort these. Boop, boop, dun, S, North Africa. Now, these two, not that it particularly matters in this case, we can see Chile's going to be the answer, but these two, how do I know which of these comes first? They're both Europe. Uh, well, right below this set of rules, we have this very important secondary rule. If there are any flags have the same information, sort the flags with duplicate information based on their country name alphabetically, which will always be unique. So, we're going to sort them like so. Iceland comes first alphabetically. So it's Iceland, then Poland, Algeria, US, New Zealand, Chile, which is our answer in Senegal. So we want to tell them, hey, it's Chile. It's the one you had trouble with, with the star in the corner. Now, alright guys, a uh, quick cut here. Um, it turns out that the manual page that I was looking at actually had a typo in it. Uh, a significant enough typo that it actually invalidated the next two uh, examples I gave. Uh, so let's uh, forgive the uh, change in volume and music cuts and presence of a baby in the background. Uh, I did want to go ahead and get this fixed up for you guys. Um, the typo, which you may uh, notice if you compare now to two, three minutes ago in the video, is Cuba. Uh, it was incorrectly listed in South America in the version of the manual I had pulled up, uh, but that should say North America. Anyway, uh, let's do one more example here. Uh, we'll go over, see how many of these we remember, if not we can describe. Uh, we are looking for the first flag in order. That's going to be a little simpler when it comes to uh, getting our things uh, ordered. Uh, Brazil is our main country. Uh, and our seven sub-countries. Uh, here's this one that I believe we mentioned was kind of difficult. Uh, cross, white border, darker background, blue background. Uh, remember the red one's kind of this light shade. So we want the light shade to be the cross itself, so that would be Iceland as opposed to Norway. We have Iceland. Next flag, three horizontal stripes, white in the center, top and bottom match. That would be Austria. Uh, let's go ahead and... No, I can't highlight with this. That's right. Austria. Uh, this one, we've seen a couple times before. I believe that was Chile. Uh, this one we've also seen. That's Cuba. <laughs> the troublesome one. Uh, here we go. A yellow cross on a blue background. So we want a light colored cross, but not a white one. It's not Denmark, that one's got a white cross. Not Finland, that's got a dark cross. It must be... Sweden, there it is. Here, we have Mexico's flag. And last but not least, 
We haven't had this one yet. It looks a lot like the New Zealand flag, except it's got another big star right under uh, the British flag. That should be Australia. Alright, let's take a look at the rules. Uh, if the main flag is in North America, that was Brazil, that is South America, that is not the case. Otherwise, if the main country's dial code is higher than 100, uh, Brazil's dial code is 55, nope, keep going. Otherwise, if the main country's name contains the last letter of its currency, Brazil, currency ends in an L, currency code ends in an L, rather. Uh, country Brazil does contain an L, so that's the rule we're going to use. So we're going to sort them by their ISO code in alphabetical order. So we'll need some ISO codes. So let's get those. Uh, let's see. Austria ISO code is this one right next to the phone. So Austria is going to be AUT. Uh, Chile is going to be CHL. Cuba, CUB. A lot of them are, you know, first, first-ish letters. Uh, enough aren't that it's dangerous to just assume that, though. Uh, Australia is AUS. Iceland is ISL. Uh, Mexico is MEX, and Sweden is SE SWE. So we alphabetize them by this code. There we go. And we want the first flag. Easy enough. That's Australia. Oh, we're already there. Alright, so... Let's blank everything out and give you one to work on. Uh, then we'll wrap this up. Uh, again, we want the first flag this time. Oh, this will be an easy one. Actually, maybe not so much. Alright, uh, we want the first flag. Our main flag is United States. Our mini flags, our seven choice flags, are Sweden, Spain, come on, mouse, there we go, Spain. Norway. Uh, let's give you one we haven't done yet, I don't believe. Uh, this one is a greenish star in the middle of a solid black, or a solid red background. Green star in the middle of a solid red background. I'm going to star that one so you can check, see if you found the right one when we check our work. Uh, we have... Poland, oops, Poland, we have Mexico, and we have Iceland. So go ahead, check what you got, work it out the rest of the way. Uh, I can tell you we have two lit indicators, we have an RJ port. Uh, we have no unlit indicators. So that should be a hint uh, in case you go through and need to figure out which rules. So no unlit indicators, two lit indicators, and an RJ port. Alright. Go ahead and pause if you need some more time, but let's take a look. Uh, here's the flag that I uh, described instead of gave the country for. That is Morocco. Morocco here. Okay, let's figure out the rule. If the main country is in North America, the U.S. is, and there are no lit indicators. Oh, but there are, so we skip that one. Otherwise, main dial code is higher than 100. The U.S.'s dial code is one, so that's a false. Otherwise, if the main country's name contains the last letter of its currency. The last letter of the currency is the USD. United States does have a D. So we're going to sort by ISO code again. That rule does seem to trigger 
probably the most common, but it's not significantly so. We've just been quote unquote lucky as we've gone. Uh, so let's get some codes. Iceland is ISL. Uh, Mexico is MEX. Morocco is MAR. Poland is POL. Norway is NOR. Spain and Sweden are uh, Sweden is SWE. Spain is ESP. Espanol. Uh, so when we order these, uh, we're looking for the first flag. That's actually going to be Spain, not uh, Iceland, as you might instinctively assume. And that gets us through that flags. Uh, and that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry for the weird cut in the middle. Uh, if you have any comments, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions, please leave them in the section down below. As always, until next time, guys. And Elias, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and don't explode.